the Tuesday morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. Tammy, Meredith, Sid here with you. Great to see you today. Um, this news item is interesting for a lot of reasons. And it uh, revolves around the race for the new mayor of Mississauga, which is going to happen on June the 10th. That's Election Day in the city of Mississauga, where I'm from. Uh, Mississauga mayoral frontrunner Carolyn Parrish dropped out of last night's debate like Tam, like right at the last second, right? Uh, apparently, the debate organizers didn't even know that she had dropped out. It was through the media that they learned. Well, that's lovely. Yeah. Uh, Parrish says she's been threatened lately. Parrish is facing backlash from comments she made about refugees, saying they sit around all day and have nothing to do, and that it's a waste of our money. That's a direct quote. Parrish has also made comments about gender-neutral washrooms, so she's been talking. 20 candidates are running for mayor of Mississauga. Once again, uh, people head to the polls on June the 10th. It's one of the biggest cities in the province. This is a big one. Um, in terms of, listen, Carolyn Parrish in and of herself is a topic of discussion for a lot of reasons. This also brings up the notion of debates and how, how people are minimizing the importance, it seems, of getting together and discussing the topics that, that matter to people who are casting these ballots. Tam, generally, where, where do you want to go with this? Uh, well, I'll start off with the, the debates. Um, I think that a lot of people who want to see debates because they want to see how this candidate not only interacts with other candidates, but can defend their record. Um, and that does help with the decision-making process. If you are an undecided voter in Mississauga right now, you may want to see that, especially considering Carolyn Parrish is considered to be right now the, the front runner. However, she does have a, a history um, she's been in politics for years, and she has had some controversy surrounding her. She's been docked pay for racist comments that were made about uh, a senior police officer in Peel Region. Um, and, uh, th you know, these are things that she's apologized for, yet th they have happened. And I, I think what a debate does is it puts a candidate up so that they can be asked about this, see whether or not they've learned anything from this experience, and maybe you can move on from there. However, when you don't go to a debate, um, you know, there are critics out there that say that it, it just doesn't give the opportunity for voters to see you as you really are. Look, safety concerns are safety concerns, and we've talked about that before on the show in terms of, you know, people putting themselves into political life and then that coming with a whole bunch of other ramifications that really are inappropriate and dangerous, especially as women. So I think there is some discussion of that that surrounds this in particular. But just the idea in general, we've seen it even in the American system, um, of people being reticent to, to show up and speak on what they're going to lead on. And that's a problem, not just for our political life, but just for our own human interaction and discussion. We need to be able to gather and debate issues. And we're losing the ability to do that, even from the top. And so even for what that communicates to the rest of us, so we have to be able to be engaged in a discussion. And it's sort of, I mean, this is such a strange analogy, but like when, when you're online dating or something and someone lists who they are, as soon as you meet them or see them in action, you have a very different sense. I don't know really what it is, but it's like your cells see their cells mm -hmm. and you have a different it's understanding of who yes. they are and what they stand for. Uh, and I think that's, you know, oddly similar to our political leaders. And to, and to be fair to Carolyn Parrish as well, she did say her campaign put out a statement saying that she will continue to meet with individuals and with community members on a regular basis heading into the June 10th election. It just won't be in debate it's style. Not no. It's not a debate. It's not a debate. Look, if, if you... Listen, there was a debate uh, ahead of the Toronto mayoral election that had to be called off at the last second because some wacko sent in a threat. I completely understand that. It's happening, like you said, this is a, a unfortunate normal part of our political discourse right now. With that said... I think we need to look at other ways to do this because as a voter, this is important to me. Like, for instance, why don't we get the candidates on Zoom? Because technically, if I'm a moderator on Zoom, guess what? I control the mute buttons. It might actually be easier on Zoom to do this instead of to have people in a room where sometimes, Tam, you've seen this from seasoned journalists who, quite frankly, should know better, who lose complete control of the narrative. Have, have some type of discussion somewhere where myself as a voter, whether it's municipally or, or provincially or federally, can start to play candidates off of each other here, because that means something to me. 
And in the United States, where you have Donald Trump, we're going to talk about Trump a little later on, but Donald Trump hasn't seen a podium since the, the last presidential election and is already ahead in like four battleground states for president of the United States. I like debates. They help me. I make decisions based off that. And I'm going to tell you something right now. If there's a consistent candidate, whether it's in my town or in my province or in my country, who doesn't want to be part of this, you're not getting my vote. This is, this is what I think of this. It's that important to me. And I understand this instance. If she wants to back off, that's fine. Get on Zoom and talk. Do something and talk, because I'm not just going to blindly say, here you go, if that's what you think of my opinion. And I'll leave it right there. Hopefully this changes. Again, June 10th is the election day for the mayor of Mississauga. We'll see where this goes. Feedback at Breakfast Television. What do debates mean to you? Maybe we'll kick this around on You Sound Off tomorrow.